Greetings and welcome back to the channel. Rhino here and I'm thrilled to share some fantastic news about Squad 44 today. The first major update of 2024 has landed for Squad 44 and it goes by the name of Operation Greyhound. Awful Industries has made some commendable decisions this time and I'm genuinely pleased with the direction they're taking. In this new update, they are focusing on enhancing the level design and elevating the overall graphics of the game, with a particular emphasis on foliage, lighting and water for Chapter 1 maps. Notably, alongside these graphical improvements, optimization remains a key priority. This ensures that these updates won't compromise the game's performance. DLSS and texture streaming have been revamped to further enhance performance. The ongoing graphical overhaul of Chapter 1 maps signifies Awful Industries' commitment to upgrading the game's appearance and performance throughout 2024. Taking a look at one of the screenshots shared on their Steam community page, the disparity in lighting is clearly evident. Moreover, they have undertaken a complete rework of the spawn and logistics systems. Now all infantry squads have access to a truck capable of carrying supplies. This empowers infantry squad leaders to independently build FOBs with the FOB limit increased to 6. While infantry squad leaders can deploy light weapons using supplies, logistics squads will be responsible for keeping these weapons stocked with ammunition through construction points. To mitigate backline camping, red zone restrictions preventing the construction of emplacements behind the lines have been introduced, creating a more realistic frontline concept of warfare. Gameplay and in-game UI have also undergone some notable changes. An on-screen compass for improved player orientation. That means no need to press the Y key to get your compass out every time. Visual prompts indicating when a point is won or lost. Sound prompts alerting players to low health and the risk of bleeding out. Enhanced peepholes for several gun sites including the Grease Gun, Sten Gun, Springfield and the M1 Carbine. The Springfield M1905 now comes with a bayonet. Refined camera shake on shooting. Issues like shooting out of windows from sight angles, Cromwell armor glitches and offset markers on maps have been addressed. The new spawn menu UI enhances FPS and enables squad leaders to name their sections and delete previously placed markers. Stay tuned for more changes on the horizon as a roadmap will be released soon. The comprehensive changelog for this update is displayed on the screen. As a devoted gamer, this Squad 44 update has truly made me the happiest gamer on earth. Squad 44, also known as Postscriptum, remains my favorite World War II Milsim shooter to date, and I'm eagerly anticipating diving into some rounds with this new update. The future of Squad 44 is looking brighter than ever. Until next time, Rhino signing out.